Okay everybody, today we are going to tackle the front differential oil change, which you can easily do yourself with a little time, a little patience, and a lot less money than the dealership would charge you. Uh, I couldn't really get a distinct price on this, uh, depending on which dealership I called. I usually like to film it, but I didn't this time. But uh, they're going to charge you between $70 and $100, at least the ones I called here in Northern Virginia. So if you have all the other tools, the oil for this, you're just going to need two quarts, and really you're only going to need 1.5 or 1.6 uh, quarts. So that's going to be about 20 25 bucks. So you can save yourself quite a bit of money that you can use on some more sweet Tacoma mods. These Avoid the Steelership videos are always a ton of fun, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so to do this simple maintenance, obviously you will need your oil. I believe it is 1.5 or 1.6 quarts. Uh, so just get two so you definitely have extra, and you will know when it's uh, full because it will barely start to dribble out of the fill plug and I will show you that in just a little bit. For my second gen it is 75W90 weight oil. A pair of gloves is always recommended when you're doing any of these oil changes. If you have an older Tacoma or if you live in a, one of the northern areas where they put down the road salt and there's all kinds of rust and corrosion issues, a PB blaster might be needed. If uh, I'd recommend spraying the uh, fill and drain plug a few days before attempting the uh, oil change just to be safe. One torque wrench you will need a socket wrench with either a uh, 10 millimeter Allen wrench, which is also 3 8 or one of these 10 millimeter uh, hex bolts. Either one will work. And then with these, since it's a weird angle, you might want to use something like this for a cheater bar uh, because you will be laying on your back, so it's kind of hard to get enough uh, torque on it to get those loose sometimes. This is just a shower rod I sort of cut in half, so that should be plenty. And last but not least, you will need the crush gasket and the washer. I will link below where I got mine. I actually got a set that has all of these that you need for doing the rear diff, front diff, and transfer case from Amazon. I want to say it was like six bucks. So with this, and if you have all the other tools, uh, you're looking at about, with the oil, just over $20 for this. So not too bad at all. And of course, you will need a pump to get the oil in there because the angle, uh, you probably won't be able to actually pour it in there. So get one of these pumps from the uh, any auto store. One drain pan to catch all the cruddy oil that's going to come rushing out. All right, guys, so here is your front differential. Uh, again, this is just for a 4x4. If you're a rear wheel drive pre runner, you will not have to do this. This is the drain plug, fill plug up here. You can see what I was talking about. Uh, not really a lot of room to pour stuff in, hence the pump you will need to get the new oil in there. I did hit both of these with PB Blaster a few days ago, so they should be good to go. And My truck's only a few years old anyway. Uh, so when you're doing any of these oil changes, always make sure you remove the, make sure you can get the fill plug off first, then the drain plug, because if you do the drain plug first, all the oil is going to come out, obviously. And if for some reason you are not able to get the fill plug off, well, you are in a world of hurt because now your vehicle is without oil in the front diff. So let's go ahead and get these off. Give me a little cheater bar here. Nice little crack you can hear. It should be good now. Yep, it is moving loose. Sure why, but it's uh, sort of grabbing the bit a little so it wasn't sliding back. So I'm holding it from the top. Get my catch can just in case anything comes dribbling out. Oil on the floor is never a good thing. And there it goes. See on this one, just the uh, the washer. This one's not magnetic. It should not have shavings on it. If yours does, uh, you might want to take your truck in to get looked at. You may be able to reuse these, but again, mine came with one, so I'll go ahead and use the new one. This is the uh, crush washer. And now the drain plug, so have your oil pan ready just in case. So it is sort of fun because it's just a weird angle. So I'm trying to grab my LCA here and sort of push down. And 
snaps off and sounds like you broke something, then you're probably good. If you have never smelled a differential, uh, you know, well-worn differential fluid before, well, you are in for a surprise because it's uh, quite aromatic to say the least. On both of these, my bit sort of stuck in there, but I'm just going to sort of twist it off by hand. Maybe from the top so I can avoid getting this stuff all over my hands there. And can you feel it? The money shot is right around the corner. Oh, beautiful. That is a lovely smell, let me tell you. So just let that drain for five or ten minutes or so. If you did, uh, like I just drove over here uh, to use my parents' driveway because it is nice and level. Uh, the oil's warmed up a little bit. So it drains out faster than if you're just doing this cold. And with the fill plug removed also, just like if you're chugging a beer and you pop the bottom, you know how that goes. It drains faster. You can see the metal shavings here on the bottom of the plug. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and get it ready to go. Okay, so it looks like it is fully done draining now, so what I like to do, I've got a little leftover from a previous fluid change. Uh, it's attached to my pump. I'm just going to squirt some of the oil in there just to help flush out any chunks and stuff. So nothing crazy, just a little bit, and then let that drain, and then just pretty much reverse the process. You can see the clear new oil, how much difference it is between the burnt nasty used oil and this is only about 35,000 miles too. Just giving it a few pumps here. I can see some metal shavings coming out. I'm not sure if they're probably not coming up on camera. Just give it a nice flush. All right, that should do it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to reinstall the drain plug which will be the one with the magnetic uh, you can see it's a little bigger than the fill plug here this one if you get the same gasket kit I did it does have this uh, like bronze colored washer and then the fill plug has the silverish uh, crush washer on it all right everybody got the uh, drain plug back on uh, you torque this to 48 foot pounds and now comes the fun part of actually pumping the 1.5 1.6 quarts of oil back in I'm not actually going to show that because it's probably going to take five minutes of me pumping, which is tons of fun, let me tell you. But as soon, just pump it as soon as you see it start to dribble out, and then you are done. Seal it up. You will torque this to, you torque the uh, fill plug to 29 foot-pounds, and that is all. All right, everyone, that is it for another Avoid the Steeler Ship video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing, give the video a like, comment below if you did attempt this maintenance yourself and what you thought of the process. And uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload, which is twice a week. Stay tuned for more fun uh, basic maintenance videos you can do to save yourself quite a bit of money that you can spend on sweet Tacoma mods. I'll see you in the next video and have a great day.